Vi sitter här i väntan och spelar lite Dota I hear you man Vi sitter här i väntan och spelar lite Dota I feel you man What's up guys, it's Ambix here again with another tutorial on a program called Cheat Engine. But before I go there, I want to just explain my new desktop here. I don't have a Mac. They're pretty cool, but I don't have one. This is an XP skin made by Windows Blinds and a desktop made by me in Photoshop. Just thought I'd share that with you because it does look pretty cool, I know. Um, I only have it for like 30 days though because I haven't figured out how to get it without paying yet. But anyway... Um, I'm going to be showing you how to use uh, Cheat Engine, like I said before. And what Cheat Engine is, is it allows you to change um, number values in in games. So uh, let me show you what it what it looks like real fast. All right, so like once you uh, you you get the program all all good, you can you're gonna see this. Um, I'll, we'll worry about that in a minute. Let me get you the program first. All right, so you're gonna go to cheatengine.org. And click downloads. And get Cheat Engine 5.4. That's the one that I have, or they might have a new one by the time you see this. I don't know. And then when you're all done, you're gonna get this window that I was showing you before, but we'll go after that in a second. And I'm gonna pull. I'm not gonna tell you too much about this because it comes with a tutorial right here, and it's basically like a, like a mini thing that it asks you to hack. Like the tutorial literally asks you hack me to get to the next level, and it tells you like exactly how to do it. Um, so we'll do that later. All right. So like I was saying, it's going to help you change values such as your money, which I'm going to show you how to do in the game called Motherload. You could also change your like your health in your health bar and stuff. Alright, so you're going to click this glowing button up here, and you're going to get this little window, and uh, you're going to press Windows List, because we're not going after a program. These are your EXEs. We just want the windows. And then you're going to scroll down to find the game Motherload from Miniclip. It, it will be in here somewhere. Sorry I'm going so fast. Uh, ch 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 there it is, towards the bottom. Alright, and press OK. And now it's set up for Miniclip. So let's start a new game. <clears throat> And hold on. Okay, anyway. So you can see we have twenty dollars. That is our our number. So I'm just gonna like mess you can pretty much see what the game's about. You you're supposed to like drill and you get points, and if you drill the those little stone things, you bring them to that processing plant to my right and you get money. Whatever, and you need to buy fuel here. So there's a lot of a lot of changing variables that we can kind of mess with, but I'm just going to show you how to do the the money one, which we have like 20 bucks. So, this is a flash game, and for some odd reason, when flash game, whatever your variable is, you're going to have to times it by 8. So if I type in 20 there, that I'm, I just know for a fact it wouldn't work. Uh, flash games, you need to always multiply it by 8. So we're going to break out our calculator and press 20 times 8. Alright, so now you're going to type in your new um, value in there and press search or scan. Sorry, and we get a crap load of values. So that's that's no good because we don't know which one is our money. So what we can do is just spend some money and type in the new one. All right, so we're gonna spend like twenty-five bucks. We don't have enough cash. Five bucks. Okay. Uh, now we got fifteen dollars. Fifteen times eight. Okay. Type in our new variable. I'm um, sorry, you can't see that, but trust me and this isn't working at all okay so now we have our new uh, variable after we got the the 120 was what we just had so now we're gonna change it and add in a couple zeros um, and we get this negative amount of money I don't know why this game's stupid but we can fix that just bring back the the thing and change it again I'm just gonna erase it and type in like one and a whole bunch of zeros and it'll add that money to our negative money, so... There we go. Look at all that money. So, now now we're all good. Like, we got, you know, our money. That's basically what this program is used for. Um, you're actually going to find out that this isn't useful towards too many games. Sorry to let that out there. But, 
you know, it was fun, and I had to pump out a video before this week weekend was over. But basically, you see how it works, and uh, this this works on like everything, not just flash games. So that's another cool little thing. The only thing is like some some games are like a little protected. But I'm gonna show you real fast. Do you remember how we had the uh, the DS emulator? <clears throat> well, kind of it works there too. Let me show you this real fast. And I'm actually going to use another little feature on it called the speed hack, which just makes everything run faster. And you guys are actually going to have a hard time seeing this I already know from before because the DS emulator um, loads kind of slow on my computer. So you won't be able to see it going as fast as it can, but I'll show you what it does anyway. So you can open up Cheat Engine, and this time you're not going to press Windows List when you click on the glowing button because this is a file, so it's not a window of any kind. So what we're going to go ahead and do is click on that glowing button again. Hold on. Okay. Click on the glowing button. Don't press Windows list. And scroll down. Look for the no no cache GBA thing. And there it is. Press OK. And then, as you can see, this is me running at normal speed. normal by the way I don't know why that sound effect is happening I guess when I hold down the arrow key in the program I'm using to record it just thinks I'm hitting it a whole bunch of times but anyway so just kind of ignore that I'm going to change the speed and uh, you just like right here it says speed and there it says sleep time I, I don't really know what sleep time does well let me just like multiply it by uh, five or something and now the game, everything should be running five times faster. And I, you can definitely tell I'm going a little bit faster, but because you can see up at the top, it's loading really slow because my computer's a piece of crap. But anyway, it'll work for you, trust me. And then you can have Mario run really fast, and you can get like a better time in this game because you're going fast. So your score will be higher, and it all you know like loops together. So that's like basically how all this works and um, like I was saying if you go through the tutorial that Cheat Engine comes with you can learn like, a lot more other cool stuff like uh, how to make your health go up and even if it's a health bar and there's no actual value so um, that's basically it thanks for watching and subscribe to my other videos <laughs>